welcome Scorpio Sagittarius to your love reading for October. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. And best message coming out. Best message coming out is give us and give us a couple over here. I love this. It's talking about that hard work, productivity. I was a little bit of hard work over here when it comes to trying to, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn, um, but it does feel like this relationship is taking a lot of hard work. Okay. And having the multiple... Uh, multiple priorities. So it does feel like you've been working very hard in this relationship, but they're having so many multiple priorities. It just feels like them coming towards you is very slow, um, trying to balance these decisions out. You might even feel like for some reason that they're kind of pushing you to this, to the side as they're kind of obsessed with their own, with their own work, right? So you can say, you know what, you're obsessed with your own work. Um, and you know what, I don't feel like I'm getting the attention that I need. We were supposed to be together. So it does feel like it's a little exhausting, but you're trying to keep the blind faith. It does feel like you're trying to make travel plans, make those, those days, those weekends, make some weekend getaways, trying to do things spontaneous. Um, right. But it just feels like they're not really, uh, pushing forward the way that you would like them to. Um, and it does feel like this is something that's kind of maybe come back from the past, like they have done this before. But it also feels like with the Six of Cups that you also want that past, right? You want this to feel like the relationship the way it used to feel. Where's the relationship of the give and take? Where is the actual, you know, love? I feel like, you know what, you've kind of left me behind. So it kind of does feel like this kind of like left behind syndrome uh, where you feel like, you know what, I just want to get back to where the love used to be. Um, and I'm not feeling it. Um, so, yes. So, it does look like you are planning some kind of get-together. It is a very small, um, you know, moderate moving plan, right? But I just feel like it's some kind of plan in action. Maybe you're going to do something, right, for Halloween, getting something done. You know, maybe we're going to dress up. We're going to go to this Halloween party. Um, we're going to go on and on this date. I want to get this dinner date going. Something of this nature, Right. And uh, like I said, if it, you know, and if it's not you, it's them trying to do this with you. Remember, it's a general reading. But I just feel like that is exactly what's kind of going on over here. That there, you know, there has to be some kind of plan. There has to be, yes, because they're saying they actually want to try one more time because they do see you as the Nine of Cups. It just feels like no matter what they're doing, they just feel like, you know what, I'm really busy. And they have this, but they do want this new relationship with you. Um, and the new relationship is just picking up kind of the old pieces that were left behind. So, and, but yeah, they are kind of coming clean with the situation and rethinking the approach when it comes to how they want this relationship because they do see the relationship is falling down. They do see it as backsliding. They do see that it's not going the way that they want it to go with you. So they are being inspired to want to do things with you. Right. So there is going to be some direct communication from them about how they feel about this. And they do perceive this relationship as, oh, my gosh, you know what? It's falling apart. I want to fix this. I, you know, so, I, yeah, yeah. You know, and if they if they did have other love options before and you guys are, you know, getting back together, um, they are perceiving you as being the one. They're saying, I'm not going to deal with them anymore. I want to actually fix this with you, come back around with you. They could have been, you know, this could have been a relationship where you guys broke up and um, are getting back together as well uh, for some of you. I also can see that as well. And they're saying, you know what, I thought Aquarius was going to be wonderful, but I don't see that anymore. I actually, now that I see everything, I really want to be with you. My passion and my love and the things that I value actually come from you. I can see that, right? Because in the past we had so much. So it could also be that. And they are, they're thinking about, you know, taking this action. There is a reward. There could be some travel. Like I said, having that, you know, Halloween party, having that celebration, right? So it does look like they do want to do things with you as well. So very, very nice. So no matter what happened over here, whether, you know, they got involved with a different relationship or they're too busy at work, 
whatever the circumstance seems to be, they are definitely on the same page with you and they definitely want to fix this. They want this coming back together. They do recognize, yes, they do recognize you and they are going to become very playful with you and they want to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want you to know, you know what, mm, where I thought that things weren't going to go good, I, you know, flirting. You know, I do have, you know, I do have deep feelings for you. Look at that. Stay optimistic about, you know, your love life. And like I said, if it was just them putting out too much work, focusing on work, they're going to let you know, you know what, I have been, I did allow work to get in the way. I did allow all of this, whatever these other priorities are. Or I thought that I wanted this other relationship, but I couldn't stop thinking about you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Yeah, and they want to make the effort with you, right? They want to come back, make that effort. They want to drop that other priority or they want to drop that other person because that other person is not making them happy or this other priority is taking them away from what they feel they have lost no matter what with you. Um, so that is beautiful. And they know that and they see that. Yep, a learning lesson, the halls of learning, spirit guides, confirmation, and great lessons. They had learned some great lessons within this situation, that's for sure. They learned where they want to trust their pro their process. They learned what they what it is to have love, what love really means, and what you know what they really want in their life, and they realize it's you, right? So it's time for them to shine and time for them to answer the call, and they definitely are grounding themselves to take that action. And like I said, and if it's not them, it's definitely you, my friends, especially on this one here, because I'm, I'm talking about the grounding and taking that action, right? Because it says that this wanting this date, moderately planning this out. So whether it's you who's moderately, you know, going to plan all this or it's them, but no matter what the situation is, they're on target over here and they're going to come back to you and they're going to say, yeah, you know, I've been in a really bad place. I felt very restless, very stressed out without you. All I do is think about you this whole time, you know, the whole time I've been away, the whole time that I've been at work, the whole time that I've put myself in this other, you know, this other place within my mind. And, you know, I just keep coming back to that place of where you are. So they definitely want to plant seeds with you. So let's get a beautiful love card over here and see what they say. Very beautiful. They definitely missed you, however the situation is. Oh, absolutely. They just store, look at them. They're just a mess. Look at the mess that they put themselves through without you. They're just huh, distorted masculine, whether it's, you know, whether they're male or female, it doesn't matter. The point is, is I am such a mess. I can't sleep at night. I know I should have been here. I thought I was doing this and that. Maybe I should never, you know, broke up with you, however it is, to go out with this other person because they did not make me happy. They did not make me happy. Wow. It's you who makes me happy. Yes, and they want, you know, your forgiveness. They're going to ask for that forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. They're saying, I want you to, you know, forgive me for, you know, putting you through this mess forgiving themselves for putting themselves through this mess because they know where their real commitments are. You know, of course they're, you know, if it's just work, of course they have a lot of commitment there, but to the point where you overcommit yourself to one area of your life and keep that other person out and shut that door on that love on you, right? For just work. That's overcommitted, you know, to not allow you in. Um, and if it was, Leaving you for, you know, I'm going to say Aquarius, it doesn't have to be, it could be anybody. But if they left you and broke up with you, they're realizing this is not working. I'm actually, my heart is actually committed to you. I, you know, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize how much inner peace you actually give me. I didn't realize how much fun and flirtiness and all these things that we do together is what I'm not getting over here, no matter what. Absolutely. So they definitely want to resolve the conflict. They definitely want to, you know, resolve that. They understand the kind of com compatibility that you have that they don't have with this other person. Or they understand, you know, 
um, like I said before, how much energy they put out into work and shut that door on you, right? They need to juggle both. But I think the problem is, is that, you know, if it was over committed to work, they end up juggling so much that they end up dropping the ball on you, um, right? To where you were just like, wow, I'm shut out. I feel very shut out. And then they start missing you. Right. That's where that's all it really comes down to. Whatever your situation is, is that how much they actually understand and they miss you and they want your forgiveness to this situation. OK, beautiful reading, beautiful reading. OK, guys, until next time. Peace and love. Bye bye.